down guys guys uh, There you go, my first experience with lane splitting. And I didn't die. Let's do it again. I'm fucking addicted now. So, what I wanted to talk today about was. Getting into motorbikes, getting getting your license, and being worried about. Did you actually stop there, Mister Carr? Yes. Anyway, what I really am trying in my roundabout way of doing things what I'm trying to say is don't be scared to get your license yeah be fucked if I'm going down there this time of day I'll get around to my subject sooner or later. I think I know where this road goes. Anyway, yes, if you're even slightly thinking that you might want to give this a keep over fuck with will I ever get to the subject no cunts coming stupid uncontrolled intersection bullshit anyway yes if you think you have the slightest interest in getting a motorbike then go for it don't listen to everyone saying oh you're gonna kill yourself oh that's that's terrible Is this right? Uh, nowhere. Right. Yes, you're not going to kill yourself. You're not gonna. You know, if you think you're slightly in interested in it, chances are you're not going to hate it. It is great. I put it off for. How long did I have that on? For a couple of years I actually thought about getting a 250 Ninja ages and ages ago <clears throat> and I just never did it probably more because I was lazy but anyway this thing came out and I said no this time I'm gonna do it and I went for that first lesson of mine knew straight away that I was going to love this and I highly recommend you do the same book yourself a lesson lessons were I don't remember 50 bucks or something like that I, I don't remember you'll have to look that up yourself but <clears throat> at least with the lesson that might that much money isn't really that much 
and you can see what you think of it. You know, it's not something where you have to go and fork out a few grand for your bike straight away and then find out you hate it. You know, use that lesson to then decide if you want to keep going. And you, chances are you will. I can't, I can't see why not, but I guess this isn't for everyone. But yeah, don't be afraid. Everyone, I had two or three people maybe, you know, say that, oh, that's cool. When I told them I was getting going for my license and got encouragement from them, everybody else said, no, you're going to die. You're you're fucked basically. <laughs> You're too old to learn. And <clears throat> don't buy into it. You know, all the laws now with the restrictions on bikes, you know, you can't you know, you, you can get into trouble on something like this, but you've got to put yourself into a position to get into trouble. You be sens sensible and sensitive. Be sensible and you will be as safe as you can. Hello. Oh, not that last one. Yeah. You'll be as safe as you possibly can be on a bike as long as you be sensible. Wrong gear. You know, people will fill your head uh, with ideas saying, you know, your first corner you're gonna lean it over a little bit and it's gonna come out from underneath you and then, then you're fucked and you're gonna die and your family will be left with no one and don't listen to that you know they're gonna tell it so you're gonna touch the throttle and the things are gonna freaking come out from underneath you as soon as you touch it you know that's all the sorts of negative comments I, I got told when I first started getting my lessons and it really is a load of bullshit the bike is as dangerous as you you want it to be. There are more risks involved. Being smaller, people don't see you. It's easier to get hurt when you do get get your well, if I should say if you do get into trouble. So you know you got to be aware of these risks and you know. If you're willing to take them, then you're going to have an awesome time. I've been riding for I don't know, seven months, eight, I don't remember now, but... Oh, excuse me. I've loved every minute I was riding. I have been riding. <laughs> so get out there and yeah if you got the f if you've got even the slightest thought of that you want to do this then get out there and get get yourself booked in for a lesson don't be afraid of what everyone says anyway guys I've rambled and mumbled and trailed off and got distracted enough for one video so I'm gonna leave you with it bye okay so I almost get run down twice as soon as I turn the camera off and as soon as I turn it back on nothing don't even think about it oh we almost had one there
Why do I sound excited by it? Oh, it's not like I want it to happen. 